Grazie, Dankchen. Thank you very much. Mr. Fabrizio Bosso on trumpet. Mr. Fabrizio Bosso from Italia, Torino. Mr. Baptiste Trottignon, Organo Hammond. From French, Paris. Mr. Greg Hutchinson on drums. From America. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, Roma. Eh? Stefano Di Battista. Thank you very much. We just play a... Uh, a couple of original composition called uh, Whether or Not was, uh, I mean, it's a my composition, but the title, I don't remember. <laughs> I never remember. You too, Greg, you don't remember the title. You remember it. So, and the second? Yeah, Under Her Spell, this one. Was nice, eh? Like, uh, <laughs> but we changed the, Normally, in, on the album, is right under her spell, but we call 
we call it this tune uh, stu Stupid Ballad. And uh, we're going to continue with another composition. Uh, it's 5-4, uh, you know? 5-4, not difficile. <laughs> yeah, it's the Serpent Charm, the original title. And uh, we do the 5-4 because every uh, serious band has a 5-4. And Greg, he told me, if you don't have 5-4, I don't come play with you. So. We write a five first version for you. No, I'm kidding. Thank you very much and uh, buon ascolto. Grazie, grazie a tutti.
Stefano, 
I'd like to ask you first of all about the quartet, because there have been a number of quartets performing at this year's Jazz Baltica. The saxophone has always been at the front, but this is the first time we've had this kind of a lineup where you've got the trumpet and the organ. What is it you like specifically about that mixture in the quartet? But I like the, the organ Hammond because he has a, also a, a sound uh, when he put the Leslie. Um, my impression that is, my, is I'm uh, so I'm uh, in the music. I mean, his sound is so so warm, so big, and uh, it makes me feel so comfortable. And also, <clears throat> I think it's a sound a little more uh, trash. And um, I was supposed to to do something in my future like that, and now I think it's the right occasion to to put this band together. Fabrizio, the trumpet player, I like very much because. Uh, when he played the, the melody with me, he, he made the sounds more clear and more a little trash. I, I, I don't know why this, this project, I like thinking that it's a creative project and everybody can improvise a lot. So I take the musician for his way. I mean, uh, Fabrizio, he, play, he can play like he feels and also Greg Hutchinson and uh, Baptiste Rotignon. So the idea is to go somewhere that we don't know when we play. And the organo, and the organ helped me to, to, to do this kind of uh, adventure. You're the first jazz musician I've spoke to this year who's ever mentioned the word trash when it comes to his music. I like the fact that you have that attitude as far as the organ is concerned. You don't need to comment about that. You were born in Rome, you still live yeah, in Rome. Yeah, yeah, but you did spend a lot of time in France, which was a very important part of your career, I think. Perhaps you could briefly tell us about what you were doing those years when you were in France, in Paris. Yeah, I think in French, uh, I had uh, my second life. I mean, I say my second life because uh, I, I had the chance to meet uh, people like uh, Michel Petrucciani, like uh, Alvin Jones, Aldo Romano and it uh, was so great experience for me because I start uh, my career in, in French with the ONJ, um, Orchestra Nationale de Jazz Francese. It was so nice because uh, it gave to me the opportunity to live, to, to be alive <laughs> with the music and, uh, and it was so nice. And also I love Paris because it's a city, you know, Paris so... I come from Rome, so it's difficult for me to find another city beautiful like Rome. But Paris was not bad. But Rome is still the first. Sorry. You mentioned that you met Elvin Jones while you were in Paris. You later, of course, played with him. And I love the fact that there are these combinations. His elder brother, Hank Jones, who will be 90 this month, performed here. Yeah, I saw yesterday the, the concert. What was it like for you being a member of Elvin Jones' band, playing with him? It was incredible. It was... Um, um, when I was um, maybe 28, uh, I don't remember the, the, the right date, but I was dreaming to do an album with Elvin Jones. So I'm trying to uh, give to him, I sent to him uh, some music from my, from my album, and uh, he, he answered me back and he said, yes, I want to play with you. I say, incredible, just one time, and he say yes. And uh, we made uh, uh, in Belgium, I think, in Br Brussels, and we did a album. And uh, I was, uh, I understand that he, when he was coming to do album with me, that he was looking for a sax player. And at the, the same date, he asked me to play with him. So you can imagine, I'm doing an album with Andrew Elvin Jones, and the same date he's gonna tell me, Stefano, do you want to come to play with my band? I was completely. Uh, so. Uh, and uh, the experience for, uh, with Elvin Jones was so, so beautiful because I understand uh, a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I understand something about jazz because I can, I can see uh, the music behind the artist like uh, Elvin Jones. I mean, uh, when we listen or when we see a musician, we can have just one perspective of his uh, uh, creativity and personality. When you know these people, you can, you can see the people also behind and you can feel the jazz. And one time I asked him, um, uh, Mr. Alvin, but what is the jazz for you? And he told me, Stefano, it's easy. Ah, I say, it's easy, and uh, how, how can I do? He told me, no, just look outside, because we was in airplane. 
And I, I, I just look outside and he say, he say to me, what do you see? Uh, nothing, I see this, mm, the sky, I see the sun. Ah, nice, D that's the jazz. I say, okay. I go home, I'm gonna thinking about that. I, and now I'm still thinking, it's five years. And uh, I, think the, found the I think the jazz is uh, the interpretation that you give to your, your um, sensation in life. So if you love life and people and sensation, you can be uh, more easily somebody that can understand the jazz. It's not real music, I think. Which saxophone players most influence you? I ask you because I've put this question to several people who've named certain names and then said they went through a phase where after trying to sound I, like somebody, they had to go in exactly I, the opposite direction. <laughs> I like very much, uh, in the whole star, I mean, the whole the musician, I like very much Charlie Parker, uh, Cano Baladele, and uh, Dexter Gordon, John Coulter, a lot, uh, like everybody. I mean, and uh, in, the, in the modern um, musician, I like very much uh, uh, Joshua Redman, Kenny Garrett, and uh, Michael Brecker, a lot. And um, Massimo Urbani, it was a, an incredible musician from Rome, he was a genius. And um, myself, too, I like very much. And, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, sometimes I mistake. No, I mean, a lot of musicians. A final question, because you just told me this before we started this interview, that I love your accent. I'm not being funny, but I really like your accent. And you said, yeah, well, I'm friends with Roberto Benigni. He lives around the corner from me in Rome. And I was just imagining the two of you going out in the <laughs> evening. I don't know how Roberto is speaking English, but I mean, uh, I, I hope that maybe the Italian people are going to think that I represent Italian uh, people uh, like speak English like me. No, no. The Italian people speak much better than me, eh? but I speak like that. So. I think you speak great, and it's been a pleasure because speaking I, to I, you. Because I, I ask um, uh, help to my hands. You know when Italian people speak, no? Even if somebody cannot understand everything, it, if see my hands, maybe can help to understand, no? I didn't need just to look at your hands to understand you. I understood everything that you said. It was perfect. If I think I do like that, uh, you know, I uh, can... So I'm thinking. Stefano, thank you so very thank much. So thank you very much for the thank opportunity. You. I have Grazie to thank you. I'm sorry for uh, Germany with the Spain. Uh, was no, You're I mean, sorry that we don't have... No, no, yeah. I don't, I'm scared. So. Arrivederci. Grazie. <laughs> thank That's you. It.
Thank you.